What up guys, Nopsy here, and I got a tutorial for you guys on how to make a basic intro on Cinema 40. So, the first thing you guys want to do is get, go to more graphic new text object. That's the first, that's the easiest way to get a text on, to make it 3D, so you do that way. Then type in whatever you wanted to say, so, Nopsy Nopsy. And, by doing the depth, you can do how thick you want it to be, how thin, and then, I don't like this font, I think it's shit in my opinion, so I go to here, the font, and type in a font you want to use, so I'm going to use, and then if you go to caps, you can do this, kind of like those little squares on, on the edges so if you kind of render it quickly yeah, it will look like that now second thing if like, you can do this I, if you, you if you don't want to you don't have to if you press C you do plus this plus this plus this plus that and you get all of them so you can like you know move each one like by doing this like crooked and stuff but I don't really I'm not gonna really gonna do that and then here delete these because you don't really need that and then hold shift while I do this and click all of them a little mo graph and do fracture object and we do this again and move it down so the arrows point down and then it should do that then only click on fracture object only that and you do random effector and then you go to perimeter what you can do is mess around with like how you want the things to do. So, still like that. Then if you do click on rotation, you can do it in the angle they lean on. So, like this. So, if you guys see my intros before, it's basically the same thing as this. So, I just do a random number like that. And then here, I go, I just do 200 frames. And I click this. And then keyframe to whatever number of keys you want it to go to and spin into the normal way. When you do that, then you set everything to normal how it used to be. And here you just fix it. Do it how it was originally. And press keyframe again. So overall it looks like this. Spins like that. It says your name. Now you can just turn that off. Now what you guys can do double click here and double click on that. And you can pick a color you want to do. So I'm going to do a red. That's it. And I, I like to put a little reflection on it. Just put. Now I'm going to do blue. I need a blue. And then what you do is cut a thing here, you do that. Hold shift and drag it. My bad. Oops. Shift. No, my bad. Control, guys. Control. And you keep holding and dragging here. So then the color. Look at the blue. Just put in the middle. And that's how it's going to look like. I usually like to add a sky to it, so let's take a little cool color like white. Like it's floating. Yeah, guys, if you want to, by doing these keys, you can like, move the angle of the camera however you want it to. I feel like you can do that. So, then you guys can add a light. You can do it like that. Here. But if you want the letters to make you little shadow, you little shadow map soft. And then what I like to do, and I'll do it on other lights. So you can see there's like a little light in the middle, but it's still dark on the edges. And then I like to add another light and put it in the corner right here. And I do the map thing. And here you do a high eight. It makes like a little flash, like a little light like that. So if you render it out. Go do that. So that's basically a basic intro you can do on Cinema 4D. 
pretty easy and simple. And then what you can do is you can do the same thing with YouTube. If you wanted to say your YouTube.com slash and I'll say whatever and put on the bottom you can do the same thing and you can just start at a specific time. So when it gets to this, then the letters fold in to say YouTube. And then if you got to have Adobe After Effects, which I don't yet, I'm gonna get it after. Okay, my bad about that guys. So you can do all Adobe After Effects and like put like flares and shit and like twitches, like it's your choice guys. And then guess what's ready for you guys? Click right here and you go to output. You know my render render settings. So basically, you do 120 by 720. There, 280. I don't I don't know. I do 280. I have no idea why. I just feel like it. And then you do from zero frames. And then if you look down here, it's 200. If you want it to go a bit longer and get better quality, you can do like 220. But I don't really want it. So I'm just gonna do 205. Then right here, when you go to save, you want to go here. Do QuickTime movie or AVI? I don't know. AVI doesn't work for me, so you guys can do QuickTime. Click options, and you do MPG4 video, and then you save it to where you want it to be. And I'm not really gonna use it as an intro, and you click here, and then I should render it out for you. And you just keep doing that. So I hope you guys enjoyed that, and peace out guys.